chat is happening. Weird PS2 games have returned and they are not getting shafted. It's real. The segment is real. So we're going to check out more weird PS2 games. And I don't even know where we're, we're going to start because there's some interesting names here. And I'm trying ghost vibration. That sounds just wonderful. Let's try that. This is Europe only, I think. Loud. All right. I don't know if we're going to find another pointy's point, but the PS2 had a large fucking library and there's so many games that I have never seen or heard of. So you never know. Okay. I'm picking up ghost vibrations. Good. I'm glad we needed to see all that. Um, 2002. I feel like we really got the atmosphere. A, a little sensory overload, but that's fine. Safe file created. Our tune is behind Yoshi's Island DS onwards. Oh, no shit. Are they responsible for the kazoos? Good afternoon, George. Or should I say, good morning in America? Alicia, where are you calling from? I'm in Europe. Hey, listen, are you still into all that ghost hunting stuff? Sure am. Mostly it's just a hobby, though. Then you wouldn't mind sending me over one of those ghost hunting kits, would you? I'll put a check in the mail. What are you going to do with it? That's none of your business. Just send it to the address on the cover letter. Hey, I've got to know. Human conversation. Mike Stoklaza played this game, and only this All game. I was the ghost wow, those are some characters. I don't remember asking you to come along. It may not look it, but that is the ideal human face. For anyone complaining about like well, it's about art styles old. in modern stuff. Look, look to this so. to see the way. Something happened. Well, this is right up my alley. This ghost hunter's going with you. I hate it. Why is he wearing like a a lab coat? With your average ghost running, if I were you, this it's like Cipher from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> I've got that figured out already. I am a professional, you know. Oh my God, look, these move this, is really this mouth business. movement. So just keep quiet, all right? You're playing right into the ghost's hands. It's dangerous here. I know that. Really chewing on those words. Understand. Look, this is my problem. This game is already an infinite emote Alicia. generator. <laughs> it's a spear gun. You use it to exercise evil spirits, and also to divine the past. A spirit? Oh no! I told you! Your nose! Oh, I thought he was gonna say, your character model is weird. Is someone doing a... You're the Shockmaster. Voice. 
Listen, this is all way over my head. Let's get out of here. Hey, stop! You're marked. I actually feel like the cutscenes take away from the game, which is a rare achievement. Huh? Okay. That was a ghostly noise, was not it? Ghostly? Oh, I think you need vibrations for this. Chat was saying there's, um... Oh, you know what? No, vi I got vibrations. I don't, I don't see a goddamn thing, but all right. It could be emulation errors, but don't say that out loud. Yeah. I think it's broken. Maybe it's better this way. <laughs> Software mode F9. Switch to OpenGL. Okay. I'm looking for it. Hang on. Is it plug-in set? I, I think I know where it is. Hang on. It, it's, it is OpenGL. Switching back normal rendering seems impossible even with software rendering or OpenGL. Oh, God. If you don't shaft the PS2 games, they shaft themselves. It's just not going to work. It's a known bug. It seems like we are boned. You know what, though? I got to say, I'm really pleased with the character models. We got a chance to see some really scummy character models and animations. Oh. I guess we're doing corruptions. <gasps> Golden eye hit noise. So this is what the game is supposed to play like. I see. By the way, you can only move forward. Like, you, you can't move anywhere other than exactly where the game wants you to go. It's a rail shooter to a degree, but then you press the button to go into first person mode whenever you're ready. No tank controls, just forward only. Gee, that's fun. Having to turn a hundred percent around.
I mean, I see what they're going for. The cinematic camera angles, and then... Like, action rail shooter gameplay. I, I get it. It's not, like, amazing, but I understand it. I, I think the camera angles look cool, though. And, like, you, you have plenty of room to, like, freak out the player with ghosts. I wonder how long this game is, though. That, that's a real... That would be... ...bad if it was, like, ten hours of this. This just gets so fucking boring. Life recovered by 15. Well, you get the idea, chat. I mean, it's cool in some ways, and the character models are like a gift. Speaking of, here's a game called Gift. Also Europe. Don't you love when a company's logo seems like the game itself? I know there was a parody of that, like from movies. Where it's like, oh, this is the mo- oh, wait, no. I think it was Key and Peele, maybe, or... I'm not sure, but, yeah. Family Guy joke? Oh, it was Family Guy. <laughs> okay, good noise. Jacko. Okay, so I see alcohol. Is this gonna be like a Conker's Bad Fur Day type thing? Oh my god. Got him. He was the last one. How? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. It's already amazing. Oh, we are getting some great character models tonight. <laughs> Fucking Curlin Nescar. I have some bad news for you. Our friend Musclor will not be returning. The idiot has also failed. Do you know what this means? Yes, sir! Negative chin. Oh, no! Not me, sir! I'm the same as the others, sir! I don't want to go back there! All the same. I'm going to need a volunteer. So... Hello, lads! It's cocktail time! Well, boy, yeah! you look a bit drunky to me. <coughs> Would you like a small glass, sir? Okay. Follow me. Uh. I've got a bit of business that might interest you. Business? Wow! <laughs> I, I don't play video games. I, I'm not a hero. And anyway, who's to say that she's my type? I Chat, I have no idea what's happening. You. Listen to this. My name is Lolita Global, and I'm a princess. Princess. I'm for my prince charming. They say I'm beautiful, alarmingly beautiful, or so I've been told. I've got everything you could ever want in all the right places, and more besides. Oh. But it's all been too easy. I need a prince. But I need to be won over. Oh, my sweet prince, my sweetheart. You will have to face a thousand dangers. What's up with your I eyelids? Sleeping at the end of this game. If you come to wake me with a kiss, you will win my heart. And the lips! Whoopee! <laughs> okay, I'm your man. Okay.
Yep. Okay. So you play as Horny Goblin. Or is this more of an imp? Wow, I played for two whole seconds. music again. Chat, this is the slowest fucking shit. Just choosing a level is a nightmare. I am the shadow okay. of the black deep darkness of the night. And you, weakling, you are going to die. Yes. Shockmaster count two. Make note of whether you are in the darkness or the light. Look at these little shadows. They live in the light and they only... Their only fear is the dark. Okay... They cannot stand to be in the dark. Well done. Is it a puzzle game? It, it, Is it... Is it a, a platformer? Is it, like, sex? <laughs> like, but why- why give me an attack? Controls are fine to move around, but the camera is very sluggish. And the camera angles are certainly a weird choice. It's just, yeah, I mean, like, just turning your imp is slow and weird and it's not fun. Are those tubes of toothpaste? I really can't think of a better, weird PS2 game. No, oh, not that it's good. I just mean, like, this fits the description of weird PS2 game... ...to a T. Your staff needs it to function? This can be like Star Fox Adventures, where uh, Fox McCloud can shoot... ...with stock sound effects from his staff. Yeah, the sound design is bad, but I'm chalking some of it up to the emulation. Like, I'm hearing weird scraping noises. It's not very nice to listen to. Sometimes there's sound effects, most times there's not. I, I guess we're juggling now? Alright, his head's on back. Uh, okay. Those are Pokeballs? Are those Pokeballs? Are those Pokeballs? Look at this cool animation. What is that even? What is it? What does it represent? I don't know what it means. Welcome to disassociation music.
I don't feel connected to the world in this game at all. Like, I... I I feel kind of like, even though I'm walking around, I kind of feel like I'm floating. Well, how do you do that again? I can't do that anymore? Why can't I do that anymore? The, the button doesn't work anymore. What was that noise? It sounded like someone sucking through a straw, like a tiny straw. I think they just took the ideas of whoever was sitting at the coffee shop that day and just put all of them into the game. Green marker cancels the power that your staff has absorbed. Like, we're being introduced to new mechanics every 68 seconds or so. What's that, you want to kill the beetle with your staff? Nope. Do you even... Am I even hitting the beetle with the staff? Nope. Don't know. I mean, the model and the textures on the beetle are nice. is supposed to be a parody of adventure game tropes of the time. When you say parody, you mean bad? I don't... I don't know if I believe that. I've taken some elements from Crash Bandicoot Tomb Raider and have developed a hybrid of the platform action adventure. To create a Contemporary, sophisticated, and unique game. Sophisticated is not a word I would have immediately glommed onto for a game such as this, but, you know, you do you. It's sophisticated in how much it makes me want to jump out of my own skin. Yes, glom. I like that word. It's fun. Um, is it even real? Who cares? This weapon is really strange. It lets you shoot at shadows. Perhaps you will be able to do it too. It lets you shoot at shadows. Chat, I think I'm pretty much at the end of my rope with this game. I have to glom onto a different game. really just keeps adding new stuff that I hate. <laughs> I see no such Tomb Raider or Crash Bandicoot in this game. Like, almost none of either of those two games. Alright, yeah, I need to play something else because this is frustrating and, like, too bizarre. Rem bizarre. I, we're doing, I guess we're doing a bunch of European games in a row. This one's Altered Beast. Vinny, watch the ending. Link.
So Altered Beast was a Sega game. It's on the Genesis. And I guess this is an attempt at a reboot. Why is there a helicopter? Wait, why is it gritty? Why are there marines? Uh, this isn't what I thought Altered Beast was. I thought it was a dude with thick thighs and thick muscles with a sword that turned into a beast. Yeah, it's the early 2000s reboot syndrome. <laughs> what a crust what a crust scene that was. Someone said this game is actually good. Okay. Weird, but, you know, possibly good as well. I, we just don't know yet. I just don't associate Altered Beast with characters that look like this. However, before we do that, This is the ending of the gift, because I hate it so much, I don't care about spoiling it. Someone just pointing a camera at the TV. Do you think for a second she would have saw that little thing, that red thing with the weird frumpy ass and the weird eyes and the weird face and the weird annoying voice and the crust and the red skin and the and the fucking foreskin and and the rot and disease and thought for a second this is my prince. I will elope with him. You know what? It is a sophisticated game telling a sophisticated story. After all. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. I didn't watch... I did watch Shrek. I didn't learn the lessons from it. Listen to this guy. Ramirez is reported he's going to be going over and flying thing. over the region. You said it, Stell. What the hell are we doing out here? And what the hell is in that damn box? They got us flying over toxic freaking fumes. And for what? Emergency pizza delivery. Yeah, this is... You could have huh? had me guess for three years straight. I never would have guessed that this was Altered Beast. It's Alter in time. Where the hell am I? Yeah, it looks like Devil May Cry Virgil. It does, just bootleg Virgil.
I kind of need to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to show you some of the, the original Altered Beast for the people that don't know what it looks like. Because I feel like if you... If you don't... This just seems like some normal PS2 game. And I'm sure the game is fine. I'm sure there are things about it that are that are good. Gino. Chip. Hmm. Huh? Gino and so genome soldiers. Whoa! Oh god, the fingers! Ah! Oh, this is like full-on body horror shit. He's morbid out! Yeah, it's a beat-em-up. Kind of thing. The camera is really easy to fight against. It's not like a Bayonetta or a Devil May Cry. There's no lock on as far as I can tell. I had no idea this game existed. I thought Altered Beasts was just that one game. Wait, am I attacking legs? is taking over your mind. You're going to die unless we do something. There's also a sequel on the GBA. Oh, okay. Does he have his clothes on when he transforms What's back into human? No. To me? Does he have to just keep getting new clothes? You? you don't remember? Don't worry, it's just a tranquilizer. Transformation puts quite a bit of stress on your cortex. Oh, he's got his cortex. pants. That's the human part of your brain. We don't want your mind to transform as transform. well, do we? Transform? What are you talking about? I don't suppose you would have the chips with you like you're supposed to. Though, I doubt that in your current state you even know what I'm talking about. Wait! <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay. Love these these enemies. This is the Altered Beast Arcade gameplay from 1988. So just so you can see if you don't know what Altered Beast looks like. You play as like muscle butts in like ancient times. And then you become a, a, a beast. And then you, you fight more. This is like a fairly popular game for its time. Rise from your grave. And that is referenced in last podcast on the left. So, you know, it's even more crusty. But yeah, I mean, I never thought this was some kind of like modern day military game. I always thought it's like mythological beast men in ancient times. <laughs> Is 
so but again it was this is the time period in which this is when like you had to make a game look like Metal Gear and Final Fantasy or like a modern like edgy reboot Yeah, Resident Evil, of course. The problem is... You, you just have way less fun when you play this game as human. I mean, I didn't... game doesn't seem terrible. Capcomification? That's an interesting way to put it. His hand was all up in there. A lock-on would, would improve this game tremendously. I, in fact, I'm actually a little bit surprised there isn't a lock-on, considering how ubiquitous that system was at the time. There's, there's upgrades, you know, so you can, like, use your genomes to upgrade. But yeah, I mean, the original is you just start and you start beating people up. Or monsters up. I'm trying to figure out how to morb. I think there's a morb button. I, I'm missing it. Oh, here it is. There's different transformations. Apparently they're um, on YouTube and a lot of them are gruesome. Can I use this to, like, bust through the rubble? Yeah. Vinny, Morbin Time is a dead meme. It was dead before it even really got started. Yeah, it's been... That, that meme was, like, really... overdone for, like, two days. And then people just kept reviving it to kill it more. And like, we all commonly agreed that that was okay for a little while, we just let it happen. Some of us fought against it with all of our might, but we, we lost that battle. But never has more- like, listen, if I just tried to play that- If I was talking about morbing during the previous game, then that would have been inappropriate. This is- this is morb. This is as appropriate as a morb meme can get. Vinny, this game is basically Sonic Unleashed, says several chat members. Okay. Wait, what, there was a Sonic game where Sonic transformed into a monster and like beat up enemies. Wow, Sega really never knew what to do with that hedgehog, huh? They just did everything. Alright, well, I've, I think I've... I've had enough of this game. 
Um, it is a perfectly fine early 2000s, mid 2000s beat em up. Needs a lock on desperately. Feels a little cheap compared to like Devil May Cry, a little bit. But I got to say that cutscene of the transformation was gruesome. And um, there is a budget there. Chat, in honor of Aqua Teen Hunger Force coming back. Apparently, there's an Aqua Teen Hunger Force PS2 game. Didn't know this existed either. I, I, I don't know. I'm just looking to uh, be in a PlayStation 2 game. <laughs> You can watch episodes in game. Oh yeah, to... no Hey, where's the meat? Where's the little meat fella? Don't check out all these little do and do and and here. Go ahead, just quit. Look, you're too indecisive. I don't need no instructions! Like, what is this game even gonna be? This was one of the weirdest fucking cartoons. Like, I don't, chat, I gotta be honest. I never watched a ton of Aqua Teen. I'm a little too tough for a spot. I think I watched more of it than I th think I did. And the reason I don't know for sure is because it was during college and I was enjoying a lot of, you know, the, the uh, well, it's legal now. It's legal now. And um, I remember a, a good friend of mine, a couple friends, we would watch Adult Swim, and <laughs> we went... So I don't remember a whole lot of what I was doing at that time, other than, fuck, I missed the cutscene. My damn mail. And yet, it is in my hand. Explain that to Nazareth. Shake, shake. Do you see anything from a golf course? Don't do weed, because then you won't remember Aqua Teen Hunger Force, chat. Jersey Pines, South Jersey's most prestigious urban golf course. What does it say? Ah. Junk mail. What does it say? What did it I say? Did I get in? I'll take care of this for you. Don't open worry. it, Jake. Open it. Hold on. I have to open it first. Dear Frylock, we are coming to hurt you. You are rejected because you are a red gay ass. Give me that. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> what? Huh? Damn, I got in. Meet why calling the tea time. We're about to hit the links, baby. See anyone? See no one. Oh, my Ever. God. Jake, chill out. I can bring two guests. Good. Get your sticks. I'm going to show you how to play. See, you get a firm grip and let her rip right into his window. I st <laughs> yes, he'll sue you, but you'll win. No one witnessed this. I don't think Carl's going to be cool with his windows being smashed, Shake. We should really practice at the course. And pay for it? It's pretty good I 3D models. So. Hey, what are you doing? Ah, our next lesson. I heard a smash, <laughs> and I knew that it was my house. If Kinda. someone confronts you... Bring them like so. Hey, I'm talking to you. Using the X button. What? What's an X button? Oh! 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 Nice follow through. Very nice follow through. Practice. You two will learn. Imagine someone yeah. seeing this for the first time and not having any information about Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I mean, even though I do, it's still really fucking weird to me. There are chat members right now that have not had any Aqua Teen experience that are like, what the fuck is this? It is hey happening. Everybody. And we're here at the tutorial level. Layout's pretty simple. Lower middle class neighborhood, vinyl siding, nowhere I would live. We can afford way better. We have jobs. Go ahead and knock out every window. Get a feel for the clubs. I am afraid of rodents. Yes, it's you are. Okay, boneheads, listen up. I'm going to teach you the finer points of the game. First, you'll learn how to drive the ball. Looks like we're short on space, so we'll just drive into Carl's windows. He won't mind. Keep an eye on the swing meter. Press the indicated button once to start your swing. 
a second time to set your power, and finally a third time... What, what is this awful filter over the game? Yeah. Uh, looks like my PS2 is a little corrupted. Oh, yeah. You got it. Now take out all the car's windows. They're not yours. What do you care? Hey! What the hell is going on in here? <laughs> what? what the hell did you do? Yeah, Carl is just, like, a dude. And he has to, like, deal with, like, a, a, a chicken nugget and fries, and a drink. And they just keep fucking up his life. That's that's what I remember of Aqua Team. Don't look away from me. I'm talking to you, man. What are you doing? What the hell did you do? I mean, yeah, Carl's life is probably already fucked up, as chat member has, has said, Easy. but, you know. Those storm windows. I paid extra for that. They're not making it any better. I mean, maybe there's an episode or two. I don't know, but. Software renderer. Oh, yeah. Chat genius. Break my window. I break your friggin' back. Good job. Carl couldn't afford an AC anyways. This will help him out. Oh, you then move around? Go to the sand trap in the backyard. Oh, okay. It's like semi open world golf. Press the R1 button or L1 button to switch clubs. Go ahead. The wedge is great for getting out of sand traps or the rough. Swing just like before and try to get a few balls in the Carl's pool. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> I'll get it. The thing is, it slows down. It's not like Mario Golf. Like It actually slows down when you uh, get to the other part of the meter and it throws me off a little bit oh my son you're not getting it oh my god you can't even get it into my pool what are you doing oh this is speak quiet don't even try to do the impression okay that's it hit a few more in because this is all that happens in the whole game <laughs> at least there's some honesty And there you go, got him in the pool. Now this is the last thing. Let's yeah. do some putty. Putty, putty, I'll do putty. Putty, putty, you want me to putty? I love putty, it's like cheese. I eat putty all the time. <laughs> yes, we've unlocked the special cameo clip. And by cameo clip, I mean horrifying operation scene. Go to the extras area of the main menu to see what we got. Look for a special cameo. Press the R1 button or the L1 button to switch clubs. Go ahead and switch to the putter. Oh, oops. Oh, I like, I like cow. I just wanted to pronounce it correctly. Now put the ball towards the hole. The hole is marked on the little map there. You use the putter just like the other clubs, except there's no accuracy to set. So you press the indicated button once to start your swing. You got it. We're ready to hit a real course. But how are we going to get down to Jersey Pines? Wait, like the Pine Barrens? Vinny, you get attacked by enemies in the next level? Oh, that's weird. Okay. I mean, just the nature of you know Aqua Teen I'm done with this. I don't is fucking weird. I play life for real. Where are we going? To master golf as a sport. I shall score a perfect 18 and leave a massive trail of blood in my wake. Oh, 
Okay, but we're supposed to wear the proper attire shape. I taped down my junk. Me too. Tell me. I'm smooth like a woman. Oh, oh. Hey, <coughs> what the hell you think you're doing? I think I'm going golfing. Tubbs? And I think he's right. Yeah, well, you need the keys there, smart guy. No, I don't. No, he don't. No, he don't. You're, you're not freaking taking that car. No, he Hey, get back here. <laughs> That's amazing. That is just Carl. I. Whoa! What in the hell are you doing? We're supposed to check in with the pro shop. Oh, you remember? Him? Canonically, he doesn't come back after time? this. I thought we kept people like you out. I'm supposed to sign in all guests. People will do anything to keep you from trying to compete. That's what makes it more of a challenge for me. All right, don't try to kill it here. I'd say lay up because you gotta avoid them sand traps because they're full of them crabs from. From that one time that Carl went down to Chinatown with that money his grandma gave him. Oh! My eyeball! Uh, wind's coming in about 10 miles per hour from the east on a par three. This is as loud as I can make the game, by the way. Just whatever you do, don't, don't hit my eyeball, okay? I won't. Damn, we lost one. Yeah, this is yeah, it's about right for Jersey. Welcome to the glorious Jersey Pines Public Golf Course, home of the Zombie Ninja Pro Am, where the streams run toxic with human waste. Don't come here on a hot day, right, Cyber Ghost? Say what? And it's a scorcher, 113 degrees. You really need to keep the ball out of the traps. Those are filled with Carl's enormous crabs. The trees will pose some real trouble, too, if they decide to migrate into the fairway. Every tree should be cut down. Trees do make oxygen, Cyber Ghost. I just defecated in that creek over there. Yes, I can see it from here. A metallic turd that floats upon a mighty sea driven by a wind from another universe. Yes, oh I God. can see it gleaming in the sunlight. And don't you forget it. I won't. You're jealous. Well, wipe that blood off your clubs, boys. It's time to go. <laughs> well, I mean, they got the humor of the show. It feels like the show. What the hell is Sterling? Fuck. Wipe that blood off your clubs, boys. It's time to go. No music? Crabs, it's, it's golf. Well, Mario Golf had golf music. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, you get right, you have to fight you enemies. Fight back. You, can indicate a button. you have to fight enemies on your way to the ball. There's that fucking. That's the sound effect. I just referenced it. It's the Star Fox Adventures sound effect. Watch out, sucker! Hey, where's that? I hear music, but it's really low. Master Shake or Frylock, that's me. By pressing the indicated button. Chat, this is just the Mario Golf, the new Mario Golf game is doing this, but like 15 years later. Except it's the probably the weakest part of the game. Well, the combat is extremely simplistic. Um, not that I was expecting anything terribly complex, but, uh... <laughs> this is so weird. This is so weird. I'm here for some practical what were you gonna say, Frylock? Can you finish the sentence? Stop. Stop. I'm here. I'm here for some practical jokes. Get the hell out of here. I'm here for some practical jokes. Oh my god. I got him. I'm full of jobs. Watch out, sucker. Bam! Bam! Thank you. 
we just <laughs> this is good like lice spray <laughs> What is this cube? Why is there a cube? I don't know all the references. It's time to golf. Is it smut? Chat, there's smut on the ground. Hey, check this out. What? There's, yeah, there's Zorn all over the ground. It's Jersey? Well, we don't... As far as I'm aware, in New Jersey, there are, isn't just porn on the golf courses. Carl? Wait, I have to fight Carl? I can't injure Carl. I mean, I'm not really enjoying the combat all that much. We're just gonna fight over this porno mag <laughs> real quick. Am I not doing any damage to Carl whatsoever? Okay. Okay. No one! Feel my game. No one feels my gun. No one! We'll do it like we do down at the top. Mano, <laughs> Mano, let's go! To my ass, bitch. Oh, Harry, no you have to use the ball? Oh, okay. Chicken skin diet. Nope. Not paying off for me right now. We'll do it like we do down at the top. Is he grabbing his crotch? Get tired, Carl. No one. You want to go? We'll go. No one steals my No one. Come What do you see? Number one, baby. <sighs> Apparently you have to wait until he gets tired, then you can attack him, but I, I... Um, why does Shake look like a Johnson? Oh, speaking of Johnson, <laughs> this fucking game is gross. Look at this. Smut on the ground. Carl grabbing his fucking weird cock. You like to steal my junk, huh? How about I decorate your face? How about that? We'll do it like we do down at the top. Mano, Mano, let's go! You wanna go? We'll go! Yeah, I don't usually have this much problems, this many problems in, like, Elden Ring. Stop paying off me right now. Yeah, I think I'm good. Carl is the hardest boss in video game history. Confirmed. I, I understand. I understand, chat member. It's a reference parody of an Atari 7800 game called Ninja Golf. Got it. Did you know? Uh, yeah, there's also full episodes in the game, and there's other, like, bonuses, if you're a fan of the show, I guess. It's more than just a game. I've always... I'm 
always suspicious of that sentence. Because it never is more than just a game. Chad, I need a hoodie or something. Give me a second. It got cold. Be right back. Enjoy the song. Proof of games. An elite pilot by the German Air Force. Tracy lives for aerial combat. Man, no, sure are a lot of big burbles in tonight's weird PS2 stream. Wait a minute. Why are the iron crosses on her nipples? No one knows where she came from, though rumor has it. That's not true. I am normal person, not genetic mutant freak product of some strange experiment by German Air Force. Ah, uh, okay, Tracy. I wasn't going to say that you're a genetic mutant freak. You weren't. Okay, I was. But let's talk about the race. Why Are we laughing yet, everybody? Why you race for pride of German Air Force? Oh, I will let no one and nothing stop me. I don't look, Tracy. We'll get jumping out of free. Well, that was weird. Of time, man has loved to race. Man's okay. every leap in technology only created further opportunities to compete against each other and test the limits of speed. And then, man took to the air. And now, the sky becomes the arena for the greatest race of them all. A competition that has drawn entrance from all walks of life, from several different tax brackets, from every rounded corner <laughs> of the globe, all gathered for this monumental event clown? in the world of aviation. All these are some scummy characters. will fill the sky in the Freaky Flyers race. So what are you waiting for? Jump in your plane and get freaky. With David Spade, Chris Farley, Mike Myers, the 1976 New York Knicks, special guest, Toad, and musical guest, Boom, boom, da, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, you boom, boom, da, boom, boom is an amazing band from the seventies. I'm telling you. Adventure mode. Oh boy. Oh boy. This guy is on a magic carpet. Oh boy. So they're they're just taking all the stereotypes and accentuating them. This this dude, is that Big Ben in the in the distance there? And he's got like Yeah, I don't know. I, I Oh. Mick Bungadoo? Tracy Torpedoes? I need to see these names. Johnny Turbine? Myrna Book... Oh, no, that's Big Ben. Um, Paul Achi? And we don't know their names. Thank God we don't know their names, but all right. This is my bloody lucky day! Play as Simon Belmont? I've got to find Tracy! Same voice. Johnny Turbine. Raised an orphan on a dude ranch in Montana, Johnny grew up herding cows, standing in front of giant flags, and imagining himself as a true blue American hero. Not blue! More kind of like a fleshy colored American hero. Johnny's famous smack attack was perfected while herding cattle. Moving along now, Bessie. You're not moving. We talked about this with the therapist. Well, you leave me no choice. Unfortunately, the cows learn to smack back. Johnny hopes to wow. be a big Hollywood star. The biggest in the movies. Winning this race will get me a multi-million dollar contract. 
I doubt it. What did you say, mister? I said I don't doubt it. I just forgot to say the don't part. Yeah, I don't Good know luck, about this. Johnny Turbine. This game was supposed to release in 1997, but it took until 2003. Did they put all the effort into the intros? Um, yeah, so there is a way to unlock all the characters. I'm going to check that out. But I need to see what the game is. Is this Diddy Kong Racing? Kind of? Three, two, one, go! How do you fly faster? Oh. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's kind of kart racer-esque. Um... Yeah. Uh, I don't like the controls very much, though. They're very, like, springy. You, you just kind of spring back to looking straight ahead. Which... You're, you're just constantly fighting. Yeah, the frame rate is good. Um, unfortunately, the controls are kind of killing it for me a little bit. Being able to, like, shoot down trees is all well and good, too. So that you can, like, maybe... Like, get one of your opponents with a tree. The acorns, I guess, are supposed to be coins. There's, there's a bunch of different things to shoot. I mean, there's some effort put into this. I just, I wish there wasn't like a weird look spring. And it almost ruins the whole experience. Okay. Enjoy. Okay. Ah! Uh, I actually like the flying levels of Diddy Kong Racing quite a bit. And I always wondered why there wasn't a similar game. This is kind of close to that, but again, I'm just not... I'm not as into the controls as I would like to be. There's a chat member that said they used to play this all the time, and there were like a lot of side objectives. Well, I'm seeing there's a ton of targets. So that makes me wonder, like... Okay. Oh, I see. So there's like objectives while you're mid-game. Yeah, again, I'm const constantly fighting against... Oh, I see. So the courses can modify depending on the things that you destroy. I, you know... Oh, weird birds. Um, and the frame rates are good. I mean, there's definitely positives to the gameplay. They just gave up when it came to characters. They were like, how do we create a cast of... You know, First place. new you characters, interesting hearts. characters. Oh, we just accentuate every potential <laughs> stereotype. That and then, you know, I guess it's just a places around the world. <laughs> and you can see her butt. You're because of course you can. Woman I've ever seen. Silence, scum! You're a fool, and I hate you. And well, gee, gravity is defied. <laughs> My name's Johnny Turbine. Good for you, Blondie. I've allotted myself 20 seconds to finish miniature. You've taken up 15 of them. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I was just silent. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a woman!
are there interactions like this for every character? Do you think the cutscenes detract from the game? I don't know. I mean, maybe there are people chat understand the sensibilities are different from you know 18 years ago or so and i'm also in my late 30s compared to the target age which would have been 15. so i can't say for sure you know if i played this as a kid maybe i would have gotten a kick out of some of it but i don't at the moment it's not amusing to me it's just big robertson's is the joke or like, you know, dude dude is a Canadian, dude is an American. He's riding a yak. Vin, you unlocked those blue portals last level. Okay. If you feel brave, here is a playlist. Wow. There are a lot of cutscenes in this game. Chat, there are 13 videos for each of the characters with all of their cutscenes. Each one is almost 10 minutes each. So if we were to just sit here and watch cutscenes, it would be movie night. Like it's almost two hours of cutscenes. Which that's a lot of fucking cutscenes. What's the um, name I should be? It's Zenbu. Z E N B U. Do one each night is a little bonus. Uh, I don't think I'm that interested to do such a thing, chat member. I mean, you know it exists. You can watch them if you want. Adventure <laughs> mode. Professor Gutentag. Margaret Basher. Marcel Morceau. We have to check that one out. Is French. Sheik Abdul. Oh my God. Cactus Rose. Cowboy. Baron von Slaughter. Sammy Wasabi. Sammy Wasabi. Andre La Toilette. Island Jack. Uh. Bandito attack? Oh no. <laughs> So what are you boys going to do if you can't find your mother? Hang on, I want to do the first one so we can see their intro. That's... Snake Charmer. Yeah. Attention, Freaky Flyer! Oh, literally just Three, one mime two, riding another mime. One, go. I see. I see! <laughs> There's, I mean, there's a lot of detail put into the levels. That's the thing. It's it's not just like a lazy... It's not just a lazy game. That's the weird thing. Adventure mode! Like, oh, almost two hours of cutscenes and all this stuff and all the different levels, there's... You know, the they tried whatever they were going for. <laughs> they're Siamese twins and their minds. So with that on the resume, I bet you fellas do all right with the ladies, huh? The brothers were abandoned on the streets of Paris as children because even orphanages found them too annoying. Uh, but on see. those streets, they made a mimes are annoying. I get it. Annoying tourists with their constant mimery. The brothers have entered Just don't the look at them. Flyers race, hoping to fulfill a lifelong dream. <laughs> to find their long-lost mother. 
Mimes away, Marcel Morceau brothers. Vinny, please play the intestinal level. What do you what do you mean? Oh, they're conjoined. What do you mean intestinal level? Dimension freaky flyer. Three, two, one, go! I'll have to. I will do that then. I will do that. Adventure mode. I'm sorry, hey, chat. What a beautiful shake, Abdul. Oh no. Oh, it's the Simpsons all over again. I would like to kill you. That's Arnold. Okay. It's time for a big party. Oh, Canada. Couldn't we just play some tunes and rest for a while, Mom? You have no idea who you're messing with. <laughs> I look for the best in everyone. <laughs> the Italian? Is there an Italian? Just wait till you get to my neighborhood. Oh. Just wait till you get to my neighborhood. Hang on, I want to see. Is this, is he like uh, an Italian Moriachi, New York? Legendary crime boss. Oh, of course. I'm not a crime boss. <laughs> I'm just a small businessman. Oh, yeah? What kind of Of course. I'm sanitation engineering. I think that means like running the garbage collection of the city. Yeah, right. <laughs> So why are you in this race, Polly? It's for my mama. She wants me to win the race. The she race. Wants her son to be recognized by the world for being the best. Also a criminal, by the way. That sanitation isn't going to just engineer itself. Mama's helping me out. She's ruthless. I mean, she's good at business. One is for Juna, Polly I, I just, yeah. Every stereotype is here. It's like, <laughs> so. <laughs> it's like Smash Brothers. Oh, I'll check out intestinal. Uh, whatever the intestine level. Vinny, it's your culture. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone. No, no one's going to bat for Italians. So don't worry about that too much. Um, I've heard it all. Adventure mode. Just wait till you get to my Here. neighborhood. Let's check out intestinal track. Pilot X's delicious alien technology will allow me to shrink all the freaky flyers and insert them into a human body. You'll never be able to escape and the race will be won only by me. What do you think about that, Sven 209? Um, well, I should have called him Shrine 209. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. It's like all the 80s cartoons that we grew Attention, up with. Freaky flyer. You are I can't fathom why we lost 500 body. viewers playing this game, the side by the way. Plane, you will see several human cells. As you struggle to find your way out, you'll want to dodge the white blood cells and collect the oxygen cells. Hint, watch out for the polyps. Oh, of course it's disgusting as well. But yes, much like every 80s cartoon had some kind of level. Level, I say. Uh, some episode where they had to shrink and go into the human body. Yeah, you gotta collect the oxygen. I guess that's the red blood cells. But they're coming from behind you, so... Wait, 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 wait. That's not how this works. Oh, 
I mean, what can I say? It's it's just a very basic level. Where you just avoid obstacles, I guess. I mean, they attempted to go for variety. I mean, it's not just another race level. It's disgusting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you're still just going through some human body. Vinny, I think it's all race levels. We're, there were no one, no one else is in there, no? Adventure mode. Speaking of Italian Americans, when are you playing Pizza Tower? Oh yeah, no, I don't. I, I that game is offensive. I love pizza, by the way. I'm gonna play it soon. I'm gonna play it soon, chat. Pizza Tower has become the new thing where everyone needs to know when I'm playing it. And I will tell you straight up, as an Italian who likes pizza, there's not a chance I would miss that game. Just saying. Um, I think I'm pretty much done with this one. If you want to listen, I'm going to take a risk here and I'm going to check out one, one more thing here. Sammy Wasabi, Japan's top secret weapon and genius aeronautic engineer. Excuse me, down here. Hi, nice to meet you. Named genius of the year three times in a row by Japanese Genius Magazine. Sammy has been building fighter attack planes since he was two years old. This was a mistake. He built a robot so powerful, it had to be sent to the moon. He was a good robot. Now, Sammy Wasabi builds planes so complicated, he's the only one who can fly them. His masterpiece, I the Kamikaze Express. Why would it... Of course. Chat, you knew it was going to be that. You knew it. You knew it. We all knew it deep down it was going to be that. How could it not? They just, in the the writer's room or whatever, they were just like, we'll throw it all in there. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, they couldn't resist it, could they? The kind of place where a well, again, everyone is here. <laughs> uh, this was the kind of thing that, you know, it was the time. And again, if it was aimed at 15-year-olds, and uh, I'm sure it was, then yeah, that's what they wanted to do, and they did it. Anyway. Yeah, so all, uh, you know, the, the whole thing is just, it, it's all that. So thanks for watching it. I mean, hey, I got my comeuppance, too. They basically said all Italian mothers are mafia criminals. <laughs> Phenomenal. Uh, where are we going? You know what? Whiplash is the next game we'll play. I think that's an appropriate title for how some of us are feeling at the moment, I'm sure. But hey, let's continue. Not my tempo. Okay, chat is saying, oh no, or Pog. It's made by IDOS. And Crystal Dynamics. What's up with the resolution? Choose a character icon. Hang on, let me check the graphics. Maybe we can make this not look as shitty. That's yeah, a bit better. Um, choose your icon. I, they're too fucking small. I can't see what I'm looking at. This looks like bootleg Samus. This looks like bootleg Luigi. And it's just Mike Stoklaza as a ghost. A weasel, a rabbit, I, I think. I'm going to go for the bootleg Luigi. Confirm. Confirm. Why, why would it do that? Where you confirm with X and then it, you, you have to press O to confirm after that. 
Like, why are we doing two buttons to confirm? Son. It's a nice visual effect. Enron. Admit it, life is boring. En Enron? Reality doesn't cut it. Doesn't your everyday routine just sap your soul? Don't you wish life had more zest, more verve, more, I don't know, elan? Well, now there's meaning to your awkward existence. The Genron Corporation. Genron is dedicated to bringing you the most exciting <laughs> products this side of your face. No idea is too grand. No technology too advanced. Okay. We're about you. All about you. Oh God, stop that. Just luck. Isn't that fantastic? And what about this? Doesn't that make you smile a big one? But how in the name of science do we do it? Lean in close. The secret is animals. Yes, animals. Animals? You often see them wandering the streets, bored Monkey? and penniless, crapping all over your station wagon. And though they seem hopelessly dumb, we here at Genron overlook their lack of previous job experience and put them to work in our factory testing the latest in our amazing line of products and if that doesn't work we merge them into new and improved animals in our genetic recombinator uh -huh. this machine which you have no hope of ever understanding we can combine two animals <laughs> into one can you imagine a weasel rabbit don't you love it say you love it genron yeah oh my it God, definitely feels like the mid 2000s again We're oh, out. it's a rabid. I can't believe it. We're out! The uh, hey! Which way did they go, boss? Spanx? This feels like a precursor to, um... What game is it? Ratchet and Clank or Jack and Daxter? Jack and Clank? Jacket and Clankster. Stop. How do you outsmart the fox? When he chases you into tall grass, do you run or lie still? Listen closely. I am going to give you the most important piece of advice if you want to escape from this place. <laughs> Who's gonna get ya? I'm -a gonna get ya! Get ya, get ya, get ya! What are you doing? Hello? What do you want? What now? Animals wow, what a desk. On the loose? You know the drill. Send in the hazmat hunters pronto. Or death to you, your wife, her aunt, your family's pets, your analyst, your second grade teacher, your cartographer, and your <laughs> son's son, and his son's daughter. Who'd I forget? No. Uh, not quite You're accurate done. enough. I could really use a deep tissue massage. Your energy, while admirable, is misdirected. Oh my god! It's the voice from all the movie trailers! Do you know the secret to defeating the humans? Give them smartphones. Um, no, not really. Cut loose. In a world where a voice from the heavens tells you to cut loose. <laughs> and evil looms around every corner. Time to move. Follow my voice. Okay. Hey. Can you do me a favor and stop breaking everything? I enjoyed that. Yeah. Thank you. 
I, I like laughed on the inside. Soar through the heavens like the frog, the flea, the fresh water trout. So yeah, it, it I kind of um jumped over boxes before. It's kind of the gameplay's kind of snappy. This puts that other game Where? to shame. What was it called? Where? Things? What was the name of the other game chat? The one with what the red demon with the butt? Like an insurmountable jump is but Gift. play if you allow your arms to be like vines. So, basically, what you're trying to say is, just climb over it? Having... Uh, they don't have the option I'm looking for. Wait, invert horizontal. They do have it. Okay, great. I don't suppose you would stop if I told you how painful this was. Hmm? Because it was... It's opposite what it is in, like, Elden Ring by default, you know? Like, modern camera. This is Astral Chain. I see what you're doing there. Do you see your escape route? Maybe you have something in your possession that can unblock it. What are you? Hey, this is just like water? No, except it's on concrete and flat on my back and it's really insane. Oh god. Couldn't have been changed to a hamster. Nope, nope. Lab rat? Nope. Had to be the tweaker. Oh no, they're quippy. I mean, at least it's a cartoon game. Oh, wait till Peter hears about this. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Did you hear about what happened? Here is where man tests the safety of his toy. This is Someone just wrote, it's first spoken. You will witness humans commit on his animal friends. I don't what's better, chat? First spoken or Diddy Kong racist? Because those are some chat some chat names that we've seen in the past half hour or so. Yeah, that's well that was the last game, yeah. Chat is just full of jokers, you know? Just like really you guys should write for TV shows. Nice job. Did you ever have a plan that didn't use me as a war mace? Oh wait, monkey. Oh no, I'm dead. We write for you. Yeah, but you should write for like Velma. You know? Get that HBO cash. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so that's your whole plan. Mindless destruction, that's it. No Vinny, you didn't have to kill chat that, that badly. Uh, it's okay. Once in a while we can give chat a little something. I don't mind I don't mind getting my ass handed to me by chat once in a while. So you know. Once in a while. Quid pro quo. But it's fine. We're all listen, we're all friends here. We're all here for the same reason. We love trash. It's true. If you're here on a Sunday stream, that means that you're looking for a very specific type of entertainment. <laughs> that most people would just not want to even be aware of. Of just, like, whatever it is. Like, eye pain, ear pain, like, existential crisis threats. Uh, lots of good stuff, you know? So, you're, we're here for the same stuff. We, we need crust and weird things to make life a little less boring. And that's, and that's why we're here together, chat. Now that, find the balance that's special. Yourself. Behind a road of unknown origin is not how I saw my life turning out. 
enjoy trash. Um, this is basically that gift game done way better, uh, gameplay-wise. I just feel bad for this rapid. It's a scientist 47. Also, I kind of think that the theming of what we're doing here is kind of funny. And there's even, I think there's combos. <laughs> yeah, there's combos. Yeah, this is definitely better than a lot of the stuff that we've, um, we've seen tonight. I can't believe you just set me on fire! You literally set me aflame! Do you know how inappropriate that is? How do I set other things on fire? Oh, I see. Here's another fine example of human barbarism. The hamster cannon. Wait, is this John Delancey? It sounds a little like him. Not according to IMDB. Yeah, it's there's a a little bit of a cadence to the voice. There's a a, a Delancey-like quality, but it's not him. We must put an end to this experiment. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, hang on, hang on. All right, understand this. This is. It's still I including the humor of shooting hamsters at a wall. Which, I don't know if you remember the, the Flash games of like the late 90s, early 2000s. Of like putting a hamster in a microwave, the Flash game. But that was like a genre of humor at that time. Yeah, like Joe Cartoon. Correct. So this is very much that, except... Because it's, you know, a more sophisticated society, uh, six years later or so, they're just flipping the humor is that the scientists are the bad guys and you get to kill them. Excellent work. But that machine will be quickly. But they're still shooting hamsters at the walls. <laughs> Someone just wrote Yeah, it's busted! This is also just a lot. This is like sensory overload as well. Freedom. Yeah. Oh, the monkey is fucking wildin' on him. Do you know what happens? Like chimpanzees can like they rip off your balls. They can do that. And they love it. Yeah, they, they and they, like your arms and shit. Like, this is no joke. Like, we're, leaving this chimpanzee in here to do this, if this wasn't a- whoa. If this wasn't a video game, that would be a gruesome sight. That would be a truly gruesome sight. A little light entertainment for a Sunday. Nothing. You know. Just something to keep your mind off the harsh realities of life. Just avoid chimpanzees if you see them. Don't get them angry. No, no, you're welcome, chat. I, listen, I'm here. I'm here to help. 
and give you the tools needed to survive in this complicated world we live in. And if this ever-changing world in which we live in makes you give it a cry, say live and let die. Is that a... Mike and I have talked about this years ago. Is that an improper English sentence? And if this ever-changing world in which we live in makes you give it a cry... What? And if this ever-changing world in which we live in... Well, give it a cry is just poetic. That's like to fit the, the meter and, and have it sound good. But it's more the first half that I'm wondering about. If this ever-changing world in which we live in... Wait, it's given and cry? Makes you give it a cry. Wait, 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 hang on a second. Live and let die lyrics. But if this ever-changing world in which we're living makes you give in and cry... Oh! Makes you give in and cry. I thought it was give it a cry. But even so, but if this ever-changing world in which we're living... That's a proper sentence, right? Avoid falling under the gaze of one of those roaming security eyes, or else jeopardize your safety. All right, I give you know what? I give McCartney credit. It works poetically. I mean, it's a James Bond theme, so of course the title doesn't make any sense, but that's fine. Well, it does. I mean, it's better than Octopussy. Live and Let Die is a way better title than Octopussy. Because I can imagine Octopussy sounding like Obla D, Obla Da. Octopussy in the morning! Or like, um, Octopussy's Garden. Ringo could have done that one. Why didn't they get Ringo to do the theme for Octopussy? Alright, any anyway, as you can tell, I've lost my mind a bit. The of the hunt have changed. These are not the fields, and your prey is... Oh, make it stop! Man Please make it stop! Friend. And you must strike at what he loves most. Destroy his stuff. Destroy hot dogs. No consideration here for those who, you know, aren't as keyed up as others. The rules of the hunt have changed. These are not the fields, and your prey is not the rodent. Man you are just is your as crazy prey. as all get out. And you must strike at what he loves most. I don't know, there's a, there's a lot going on here. Stuff. A little consideration here for those who, the you know, of the aren't hunt as keyed up as changed. others. All right, yeah, I'm trying to break stuff. Wow, you know when you use me to smash that guy, then ran out there dragging me behind you, of course, then you use me to slide across that rail, and then you stuck me What's going on? Oh god, oh god, just infinite talking, and, and monkeys beating the shit out of humans. I'm trying to break his stuff. Man's stuff or something. Stick the bunny in the grinder panel. Use bunny. Oh, I see. Use left analog stick to fight the machine. That, I'm not getting it. It seems mean to put your only pal the bunny, you know, into a grinder. Rest. You need it. You do. That's amazing. But becoming an obstacle to a good night's sleep. Well, Ethos cares away. Your good friends at Genron have developed the greatest body support on Earth. It's the Fatress. Yes, the Fatress. The oh, first God. Is conceived and designed specifically with the needs of the morbidly obese in mind. Swedish style memory foam remembers your every dent and crater. Absorbing wool soaks up the sweat from even the most rancid sleeper. And living latex eats a little dust bite. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, they're. 
They're, they're going for whatever target they can. But it's okay, because they're making fun of humans. Okay. You know, like, blanket humans. I think. So, sorry, chat. What you need, my friend, is the newest miracle from your friends at Genron. The latest in high precision eyesight. Mr. Beast. I mean, they're going for... There's, there's definitely satire here. <laughs> Now you can diagnose and perform surgery from the comfort of your own home. Oh. Self -op 2000 from Genron. Self -op 2000 diagnosis and cure. Whoa. Here's how it works. High precision meat scanners analyze every millimeter of your body. Robotic for balm in your wounds and salve on your stitches. Self up to has a pleasant bedside manner. Okay. You'll never have to feel that. With self up two thousand. Self up two thousand. Oh, oh shit! Oh god, they're it, robots. Oh, okay. Wait, what's this? Oh, just robots, I guess. I mean, I give the game credit for trying to be about something, and the gameplay is actually good. Mostly. I mean, it's very tight corridors, so the camera does get a little claustrophobic. But... You know, compared to some of the stuff I played, I'll take this over most of the other games. Read the names. Yeah, just in terms of like a video game. Oswald Stickler. Um, it becomes a Metroidvania in the second half. How long is this game? Chat mo uh, members, if you know. It's a long game. Maybe you I don't know how much I would be interested. Down on the humans. Like, I don't know, maybe in the 2000s, but like, in current year, for me, I don't know if I would want to play this more than like five hours. This seems like a solid five hour game, and people are saying it's like 13 hours or so. But I don't know, maybe you get more abilities. The fact that it becomes a Metroidvania maybe changes things quite a bit, and you know, that sounds kind of neat, I guess. Oh wow, it's straight up Metroid Prime map. Did this come out after Metroid Prime? You haven't even gotten to the real meat and potatoes of it yet. Interesting. Okay. It did come out after Prime, and this is extremely Prime. You can dunk the bunny and all sorts of things to solve puzzles. Yeah, you're right, Dave. It did. The messenger became a, a Metroidvania, and it did not do anything for me in the Metroidvania half. But I mean, it's up to you whether or not you find this game funny. But I think this is the best game of the segment. I think it's about something. That there's like good gameplay, and I like the presentation. So. This gets the gold medal for me tonight. Um, if I had to give a shit medal, it's the gift. I mean, clearly, sense of humor and and shittiness aside, it, in terms of like um, bad humor, the gift was just a terrible game. And also, those were baffling decisions all around in cutscenes. None of it made any goddamn sense. So, all right, well, definitely check this one out. And that's your weird PS2 games for tonight. I do have more, but that will be a future segment. I have one, two, three.
three, four, five. I have five, so I might need a couple more just to make the pack a little bit more um, rounded out. But I have five of those. I also have more terrible Super Nintendo games for a future segment. And uh, did I do all the weird PS2 games from previously? I might have like one or two. Yeah, I can just play Pointy's Point forever. I'll just keep playing that. All right, chat. Thank you. And whoever made this pack, I forget. Sorry, it's just too many people. But thank you very much. And uh, I enjoyed. I hope you all did too. PS2 had some fucking weird games. And uh, I appreciate the strange stuff that isn't the average stuff like i'll tell you what i know i'm being a little long-winded and and my brain isn't working but i will say this for every generic altered beast type thing which at least it had weird cutscenes, and it just had this like capcomification that the chat member coined the good term by the way and it just seemed so generic but for every one of those there was also a bunch of pointies points so you know, we'll keep digging and we'll keep looking for the weirdest stuff possible and the most voice cracks. How do we dice an onion? Big onion. Look at that. Woo! To the good onion. Good onion is a heavy onion. So it's a six pound onion. It's also an onion where the onion is put. This is the tip of the onion or the onion. The onion is not the knife around the onion. Remove the pepper skin of the onion. The dice an onion. It's an onion. Cut the onion in half on the onion and onion. Then the onion, the onion with onion, <laughs> onion, onion right here. That's a, that's a good method. Onion. Honestly, that's a, I use this method. I learned from this guy how to do the onion dice properly. He still does videos. He stills doing stuff on YouTube. He's doing cooking stuff and he still says onion. All right, chat. I'm going to go now. Good night and thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you later. Good night. See you during the week. We'll do more, um, maybe Hitman. I'll, I'll suck at that more. More Wario Shake It and other things, too. Goodbye. No Dead Space. Dead Space will be October.